Today we're going to talk about trends in business, specifically focusing on sales and customer expectations. And I'm joined today by Judith Volker from Magical Places, Andre Dysonberg from Crazy Horse Paris, and Donna Butler from Female Boutique in Mullingar in Ireland. And today we're talking about trends in business, specifically focusing on sales and customer expectations. Donna. Andre, um, we were at your spectacular event last night, which was a pure pleasure and such a diverse amount of people and nationalities. And my question is, as a business, what has been the trends in customer expectations over the last 60 years? Not saying that for you, but <laughs> the way things have evolved within the company. Well, what I've seen with the customer expectations um, is, first of all, they want to be swept off their feet. Everybody's stuck to their screens. Everybody can go to the movies. They want something that's all encompassing, that sweeps them away, that's immersive, brings them into another world. Uh, they also want something very important. It's that things have to be Instagrammable. People like to go places and say, I was here, I was here. So the whole decor, the decorum, the interior decorating, the lighting has to be a little stage in a way for everybody who comes in. You have to have little gimmicks so that the people feel comfortable. It helps your brand. It helps your business grow. Um, do you not think that people, though, sorry to interrupt you, do you not think that people want nowadays more value for money than they ever got before? Well, that's another thing. I think that they want experiences that in a way that are extremely personalized. We have uh, had increasing demand from customers for experiences that basically money can't buy in a way. Uh, we have what we call the crazy experience where you go backstage, you get a bit of history of the place, you get to go through through the backstage areas where nobody gets to go. It's the artists that pass you through, the that, that guide you through, that tell the stories, that give you some champagne, you eat, eat some macarons, and you have an experience that basically the regular customers don't have. It's more personalized. We also have customers who say, okay, we love the Crazy Horse, but we love it at our house. So we also have customers that invite us to their private events and we leave the cabaret in so Paris really going sort of and beyond, we go and beyond. And beyond. We go up beyond. and beyond and we will yeah. either do private clients uh, at their houses or uh, for weddings in, in, in different uh, locations and hotels, um, on islands. We've been to the Seychelles, invited by private guests who say, okay, I have the means, I want to create my own evening and you're mm. part of my evening. Do you find, Donna, that the expectations have risen in the fashion industry, especially with the sort of the high-end client, female clientele that you attract in, Absolutely. in female? Absolutely. Yeah. And in, in the world of a very, very heavily fed internet sales, and the way it's pushing on so much. Mm. What I feel is if you don't tailor mm. something different to the guy next door, you're gone. So what people want is that super, super personalized, you know them, you know their needs, even before they do. Mm. So that's, that's what's so vitally important to keep um, an independent running and running hard and really giving the other guys a go for their book because okay we can all sit down and we can all flick through it at mm. night in our pajamas and blah 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 and pick this and pick that really our senses need to be fed as mm. as humans we love taste touch smell all of these things so when you do that on your ipad at night what do you get out of it a little buzz there's instant gratification and instant pain mm. whereas there's no of the feeling and that's being lost through it, which I feel people are going to get bored with. Mm, I agree. What's your unique USP, Judith, in the Tannenhof, for example? What, like, what, what's the, what trend do you see in the hospitality business, and what? Yeah, it's uh, also relating what I hear now from the uh, entertainment industry yeah. or from the fashion industry. Of course, it's the same for the hospitality that people are uh, looking for more this personal treatment and uh, not just booking a room that they have also a tour with the chef or having a special dinner at tailor-made kind of for them. Mm. So uh, this is really the, the, the trend to have something really individual and, and, and personal. And, uh, and the interesting thing is also what we see is that guests are willing to pay for this extra. See, this, is the, this is the thing. Well, People in your business, Marit, mm. in the in dating industry where it has been flooded with apps, mm. but again, no personal side. No personal service. And that's where you come in. But that's a good, it's a good point. Expectations, right? What would any of you, we being four sort of powerful females, right? What do you girls think about 
the female expectation that our clientele in the dating industry would have on a, on a, on, a, on a male nowadays what do you think the expectation is on, for a woman when they go out on a date at the moment and you know if somebody signs up and they pay 25 or 30000 to join an agency how do you think any of you would manage the expectations of a male or a female <laughs> very good question <laughs> but maybe it's down the same line tailor made personalization give it some thought and not just Maybe it's the same thing as in the fashion and as in the hospitality and entertainment business is personalization. Take but if you, if, you, if you ask for six foot two and he ends up being five foot 11, but the perfect that's man. That's not personalization. That's you didn't hear me. And that as a customer is not acceptable, <laughs> you see, right? There you go. You didn't hear listen, me. So the listen. brands need to listen. Yes. yes. Mm. And, and as well as that, sometimes in life we can be very strong about what we feel we want, but the actualization of that can be completely wrong. Like... Who wouldn't want to be, have David Beckham, a body of so-and-so, the hair of so-and-so? Um, is that reality? Is that really what we want? But that's where professional comes in, maybe. And that's where a client might say, okay, I want a, uh, six foot two, etc." And you as a professional come in and say, okay, you know what? I know something that you don't even know. Yes. And you present a five foot nine or whatever. Yes. Yeah. And wow, it's love at first sight. Or people will say, I really want a tailor-made dress with a really small waist. And you look at the person, you say, I know what she really needs. So the professional touch yes. is very important. Yeah. The know-how, mm -hmm. like you in the hospitality. Yeah, but do you not think that sometimes... So, it's not to be controversial. Do you think that sometimes be, wealth draws power? Okay. So the very wealthy, the HNWIs and all that, are they ever happy? Even though we can meet the expectation, do the best sales job we can, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, when you're paying in excess for something. You know, if you're paying 4,000 euros for a bedroom or you're paying 600 pounds for a seat to look at the show or whatever the prices are, or you're paying 500 quid for a pair of trousers, you know, are, are HNWIs, and are they ever happy? Or is um, enough, you let's know? Let's say in the hospitality industry, well, uh, or in our case, in a hotel, um, I don't think we can make them happy. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the, every person is the... Uh, responsible for that um, themselves but I think we can contribute to make them happier to yeah. give them a special time to to let them feel special uh, have attention uh, being there just giving our love to them yeah. actually all our stuff yeah. with our food with our uh, everything the whole product we have to offer and that is what I love about uh, the hospitality. hospitality industry I suppose yes. making the customer feel number well, one and I the hope we make thing? them happy for yeah. two hours I yeah. mean it's two hours but I hope we make them forget the troubles in the business and the fact that it's That's raining a really good point, actually I just want to yeah. offer escape for an hour yes. and a half yes. two or three yeah. it's a bubble go into my yeah. world welcome yes. have yeah, fun. The same applies you to know. my staff who would, ha you know, have such a one to one and it's such an intimate setting, a fishing room, you know, you're stripped off, you're showing all your good bits and your bad bits. You know, when they come to me, they are looking for an experience. All of your worries and cares stay outside the door. We don't carry them to work. They are the special person for that period of time. Some of my problem with the big guys in the world are that everybody says yes to them and says you're wonderful. Because people are afraid, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So, you know so, I mean? so th do they lose their own sense of right and wrong or mm. their own senses mm. because they're constantly being massaged? And they love to be told what to do, don't they? Yeah. People love to be, t you, they, love, they love to sort of put them in their box. That's what we call escapism. Anyway, we have to leave it there. Hopefully you've escaped for a few minutes watching our fabulous show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mairead Malloy from Barclay International and we'll see you again soon.